Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and today I want to talk about Monster Hunter, why it's amazing, why you should care, when it's coming out, am I going to make videos of it, etc. So let's get started. I am talking about Monster Hunter World coming out on January 26th. Now, it's going to be coming out for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and at a later date, PC, I don't know how much later, I'm assuming it's going to be this year. It might be, at the very minimum, probably five months before, you know, it comes out. I still don't know why they don't have a release date for it, but um, I'm going to get it for PS4 because I really, really love the series. It has become probably my most favorite franchise of all time. For now, you know, maybe something will overtake it, I have no clue, but it's freaking amazing, so... I have played a lot. I have like hundreds and hundreds of hours on Monster Hunter Generations. That's probably the most hours into a Monster Hunter that I've put into Generations, which was on the 3DS. I live streamed a lot of that. I even have a couple of videos on this YouTube channel and of course my Mobby vs. Games VOD channel. And I've also played through Monster Hunter Stories. Uh, which was a small spin-off of Monster Hunter. It was kind of like Pokemon uh, mixed with JRPG, you know, turn-based type of things. I didn't finish the game, and that's a small regret. I really, really wish I did, but man, it's it's really, I don't know what it is. It's just really, really hard playing my 3DS nowadays, especially when we have a really amazing other, you know, Nintendo handheld console, Switch. So it's like, I have no reason to turn on my, uh, my 3DS other for, like, the exclusives. Okay, so... Like I said, if you guys want to see me play some, I'm going to have some footage of me, you know, playing a lot of this stuff. And I have some, uh, I have some footage of the Monster Hunter World trailer coming up. So, that, with that out of the way, why should you be hyped? Like I said, um, a, lot, a lot of people ask me, Mobby, what is your favorite game of all time? And I always say Shenmue for the original Dreamcast. I love that game. It had a huge, huge impact on my on my outlook on what gaming could be you know it had a lot of first for me like QTEs were really really new at the time and uh, just really crazy stories that spanned tons of disc it was amazing right so that's my favorite game but if you were to ask me my favorite franchise and you know, a lot of people would say Mario you know Zelda Final Fantasy Monster Hunter is amazing it is so so good now I have to admit I did not like the series when I first tried it. Um, when I first played the game, I think I did a PSP demo. It was either a PSP demo or the full game. It was a while ago, but you know, I had a lot of gripes with it. You know, I tried it for a little bit, and if you don't have someone to really ease you into it, it's not really too noob friendly. You know, it doesn't have a lot of stuff. Um, the, the tutorials were like whatever, but the really the, the things I really didn't like about it, it it was that it wasn't what I was expecting, you know, usually with these action games with missions, you know, you get new equipment, you want to level up, you know, all that stuff. And Monster Hunter wasn't really like that. It was sort of like, um, you know, a, a game. It was just different, you know, you, you didn't rely on leveling and stuff. You relied on new gear and you relied on knowing the environment and knowing monster hunting patterns, which was pretty new to me I didn't have a game like that so I, I you know I I read it off like oh I'm just gonna go play you know some other games and I really really regret that because I gave the series another chance um, like three years ago and I got back into it on the 3ds now primarily it has been you know um, when it first came out it was mostly a console based game and then it slowly turned into just like a, a mobile thing like a, a mobile console based thing like it would be on PSP PS Vita, and of course the 3DS. But now with this new release of Monster Hunter World, they're bringing it back to like extreme mainstream and even putting it on Xbox. I do not know why they're not putting it on Switch. Maybe at a later, a later date, but come on, man. It really, really needs to be on Switch. So why is that awesome? Well, I really, really would like you guys to check it out if you haven't. Um, like I said, if you're interested in any of the footage here, I'll be explaining a lot of why I really like this game. Um, and I love it for the same reasons that I dismissed it when I first tried it out. Um, it's just so 
different, you know? It, it has a really, really amazing, like, Japanese art style, um, you know, like, culture, a lot of the Japanese culture is in it, especially with the inspirations for some of the monsters. There are so many different ways to play. I don't remember, it's like 12 to 14 different weapons that all play extremely differently, different roles. You're not, you know, consumed by a character class. Like, oh man, I'm gonna build up this character for 100 hours and I'm gonna build him to be a tank or I'm gonna build him to be a long range character. And that doesn't matter. There are no levels. It's you and your efforts, your smarts, and everything you have learned in the past. You're gonna go hunt this monster. I remember, we're, okay, we're gonna go fight this monster in a magma-ish volcano area. I need to make sure to bring extra potions, maybe a weapon that is fast so I can get out of the out of the magma if I accidentally fall into it. Um, you know, oh, I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna fight a flying monster now. I'm gonna bring lots of traps, bomb barrels, etc. So, the game, like, it rewards you for playing well and it also rewards you for grinding now you just said mobby hey there's no levels you grind for gear you grind for weapons and gear and items and that is probably one of the most best parts about the game is the grinding aspects you know um you know fighting monsters for the first time going through the campaign for most of the part there really isn't like crazy true campaigns but it's probably going to change in this new sequel but the grinding is really fun and it's fun because the environments are great and the core gameplay is just freaking amazing. It's so fun to just, you know, run through, really learn the environments. The first time you play a Monster Hunter game, you run through and you're like, oh, what the heck's happening? I've never been here before. But then as you play like a couple of missions and, um, you know, you, you really learn like, okay, these monsters tend to spawn here. Um, I can find items and rocks over here for the most part because a lot of it, for the most, like in Monster Hunter has always been, there's like a bunch of different maps with different missions. You go into it and depending on the conditions of the mission, it's either morning or night. Some areas might be blocked off, but for the most part, you know where monsters tend to be. And the best part, of course, besides the grinding, is the monster fights, which keep, keep the game amazing. Now, th this goes into the grinding because a lot of the weapons and armor comes from giant monsters yes giant monsters that you fight they are fun as all hell the game is multiplayer so you can hunt them all with your friends i've mostly played single player but i really got my girlfriend into it so you know i bought her a copy of monster hunter generations and we both put it like hundreds of hours playing together ah oh, it's so freaking fun she loves the um her favorite weapon is the dual swords are really really fast they know demon mode and all that stuff i kind of have three favorites I like the great sword, I like the light crossbow, and I'm really trying to get into lance, the, the freaking lance. Long sword is pretty cool too. I, I, I like every single weapon, honestly. It's so freaking fun. So I know I'm, I'm gushing over this game like crazy, but I really want you guys to know that I'm going to be live streaming the crap out of this game. I'm not sure if I'll do like standalone videos. Um, if I do end up putting like long form continuous videos, it will probably be on my secondary channel, Mobby vs. Games VOD, because I don't want to like clutter the main channel with too many series. I already have a lot going on, um, but it might end up being in Moblin Tales, um, the highlight video reels where, you know, it has like funny stuff and stuff of interest that I like. So guys... I want to know down below how many of you guys are really, really excited for Monster Hunter World. What do you expect and what do you want to have in the game? Now, when I first saw the trailer of it, like for Monster Hunter World a while ago, a couple of months ago, I was so ecstatic and I was very, 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 very happy that we were getting a new Monster Hunter for the new generation um, of consoles because I said Monster Hunter Generation. We're getting a new Monster Hunter for the new generation of consoles. That's what I meant to say. Because I, as much as I really liked playing it on the 3DS and stuff, you know, you notice the graphics aren't the best as it can be. So I'm glad they're moving it up. One thing that I do say that I did not like too much about the new game that I saw in the trailer. I, I did try the beta and everything on the PS4, the open beta. I did, you know, a couple of missions. I hunted all the monsters. I love everything except 
the art style now hear me out hear me out the art it's beautiful the game is beautiful i just don't like how they're making it a little too mainstream some of the new monsters that they're adding seems to you know it seems to be more mainstream americanized if that makes any sense at least to me that like that's the feel i got out of it when paying when playing the the past um entry series and the, ent <laughs> the past entries in the series it has been more of a Japanese influence and culture, especially with some of the monsters and stuff. With this new one, it seems to be like, oh, it's going to appeal to everybody. Even some of the monsters seemed a bit like dinosaurish, which was weird. Uh, but that that's the only thing. And one thing that really bugged me in the game was, I guess they really want to make it, like I said, they make it mainstream and they want to make it more noob friendly. So there are going to be tons of tutorials and stuff. But one thing that really bugged me was that there are a bunch of glow flies that pretty much, you know, they're kind of like Navi and Link, where they, they literally, you know, glow and go here. This is where you need to go. This is where you need to follow. And there's no more like paintballs. Paintballs was a, a pretty fun, um, a, a fun skill to master in the old games. If you don't know what paintballs are, uh, pretty much it's an item that you craft or buy, right? And then when you find a big monster to hunt, you throw a paintball at it and it gets trapped, not trapped, but sorry, it gets um, located on your mini map and you got to follow it. And after like a couple of minutes or something, you have to reapply the paints. So you have to get up really close to the monster and do that. When I was playing the open beta, paintballs were totally gone. They added cool new stuff like mantles and the grappling hook and everything, but I really like the paintball system. And instead, it seems like you are hunting by looking at their tracks, which is cool. It's a cool concept. Oh, we got a actually look at their tracks which is nice you know maybe they uh, they dragged on the ground and they left some scales or something like that but after you pick up a couple of those tracks what happens is those little bugs that I talked about literally like map hack you in the direction which is kind of annoying like it really clutters up the screen and makes it a little ugly um, half the time I was playing I was just following the thing aimlessly, stupidly, instead of, you know, really looking around and exploring. So that's just what I got out of it. But other than that, I cannot wait for it. It's going to be coming out in January 26th. I playing it day one, PS4. I'm going to live stream it. I'll put up probably some of the videos on the VOD channel. If you haven't checked that out, links down below. I, I upload videos there every single day besides this main channel. And I really want to know your guys' opinion on the new Monster Hunter when it comes out. And I want to know your opinion now. Did you get the same feeling that I did? You know, did you maybe not get into it until the later entries? And, um, yeah, please let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.